10. Prime Minister and Minister for Justice and National Security, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, delivered remarks at the Caribbean Community or CARICOM Regional Symposium on Crime and Violence. We have a responsibility to our people to provide them with the necessary resources so that they can become wealth creators and custodians of our patrimony. I welcome this symposium and ask that we move swiftly to implement the recommendations which will be put forward. We can't afford otherwise. I thank you. Nine. We've always taken school security very, very seriously. We have realized in the Ministry of Education that we do not have um, sufficient personnel, not just in terms of numbers, but expertise um, to lead the charge on our own as far as school security is concerned. And it is against that backdrop we were able to bring in um, Mr. Osbert Regis, retired police commissioner, um, to help with the security apparatus of the school system. Eight. What's new? What's exciting this year for Carnival? But I think for us, it will be the first full carnival since COVID. The Junior Carnival, Junior Panorama, Junior Calypso, Commercial Calypso. We didn't have those things last year. Yet we had a fantastic mass last year. So this year we are moving towards having the full um, suite of events that we normally have for carnival. So I think um, this year we look forward to restoring carnival as we knew it in the past. Seven. The St. Lucia Boxing Association hosts two nights of an extravaganza intended to be part of a development program for young boxers. We're creating champions and better citizens by working in the school program with the ministry. The tagline for the tournament is hands in gloves not on guns. We want to make sure you stay in that gloves and don't hold the guns. When they go out there and they win, we say St. Lucia wins. We feel proud. We need to always ask ourselves, what can we do? What small can we do? Six. Staff of the Department of Fisheries, as well as other government officials, gathered for the momentous opening ceremony of the data training program for Calypso, a cutting-edge prototype fisheries database. The first week of our training will involve fisheries statistics, and during the second week, we will see hands-on practical um, aspect of the training where we'll be using our tablets to capture real-time data on fisher, vessel, fish landing and aquaculture data. Five. Today more than ever, St. Lucia is becoming a space that promotes creativity and innovation. The establishment of the Youth Economy Agency, for example, is tangible evidence that the government recognizes the contribution that creativity and the innovation can make to the overall economic development of our country. 4. Development of a HydroMet portal is an initiative of the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project. The online platform allows users to collect, archive, visualize, and share hydrometeorological data. Data that can forecast the amount of rain and its effect on specific areas. The new system would add support to the Water Resource Management Agency, or WRMA, and the St. Lucia Met Service. 3. The issue of feral pigs and their impact on the forest ecosystem, as well as on farmers and landowners, was the focus of a stakeholders consultation meeting held by the Department of Forestry. And um, we're more looking to manage, you know, what is there to a point where it is not, you know, having that negative you know, effect on our resources, on our natural resources, on the forest, on the water resources. Two. USAID's Youth Resilience, Inclusion and Empowerment Project has been completed with the organization of Youth Easter Connect, a series of camps held in Granivere, Grosile, the John Odlam Secondary School and in VFO. And basically what we've been doing is teaching them various life skills so such as leadership, conflict management, conflict resolution, peer mediation and so forth. But instead of just having them learning, we're making it creative. So we're incorporating creative methods so that they can learn the various styles and the various life skills. One. And that one hits the pad. There's a huge appeal and that's it. Game over. St. Lucia champions. 
and St. Vincent bowl out for 74. And with that, St. Lucia are now champions of the Winlot Winwards Under-19 Championship for the second time in two years.